hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel those of you new here my name is free Birang. welcome to my channel so today's tutorial is going to be a celebrity recreation so i'm going to be creating the look of kiara adwani on this movie Sher Shah, where she created a dimples look so i will be recreating that look i find this look very simple very pretty and very elegant at the same time so i'm just going to be creating this look and demonstrating you guys how i got this look so without wasting your time let's get started let me show you guys how i created this look Moving forward make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell icon so you don't miss my post so without wasting your time let's get started so i'm going to be starting with the moisturizer so i'm using this pharmacy moisturizer which is really good and i really love this one it's perfect for the people who have oily to normal skin then i'm going to be using this lip balm from zara i recently bought this and this is a colored lip balm now let's move on to the uh, to color correcting so i'm going to be using this tinted color correcting pin which is also called as hoi stick and i'm going to be using it under my eyes and on all the areas where i feel that there is little decolorization well this is not required for my skin but i'm still demonstrating you guys that you can color correct your face by using uh, such colors and on the areas where you feel there is decolorization and then using a brush i'm going to be blending it out very smoothly and i'm just going to be mixing it up with my skin so it looks just exactly like my skin color let's move on to the foundation so i'm going to be using this 24 7 fresh super stay matte foundation from maybelline which is my favorite foundation it works amazing for the people who have oily skin because it is a matte foundation so people who have dry skin please do not go for this foundation it's good for people who have normal to combination to oily skin but best for people who have oily skin so gently applying it on my face and also a little bit on my neck area and then using a foundation brush i will be blending it out i'm going to be making sure that the foundation blends very smoothly into my skin tone and skin color so that it looks pretty natural and also gives a little uh, you know natural look and looks like i haven't applied any makeup let's move on to the concealer for concealer today i've taken a fit me concealer from maybelline applying it under my eyes and also on the areas where i just want to highlight a little bit my area i'm also applying it on the areas where i had uh, in the beginning color corrected so because i wanted to highlight those areas and then using a brush i will be uh, blending it out if you want you can use a damp beauty blender but i'm going to be using a brush and i'm using the same foundation brush which you which i used uh, for blending out my foundation you can also use a small brush for blending it out but i'm basically using the same brush just to save my time loose powder today i'm using a fit me loose powder which is again one of my favorite uh, you know product which i love using and then using a fluffy brush i'm going to be applying it basically on the areas where i've applied the concealer just taking a very little amount and then pushing the powder into the skin very gently and then just applying it basically on the areas where like i said i've applied the concealer to give it more depth and highlight those areas contour i'm using a contour stick from fenty beauty applying it on the high points of my cheeks on my forehead and also on my jawline also applying it on my nose to contour my nose and then using a fluffy uh, contour brush i'm going to be blending it out very gently on the forehead i'm just going to blend out towards my hairline and mixing up this contour with my hairline so that it looks kind of similar and then blends out really nicely so that it looks really natural and then using a small brush i'm going to be blending the uh, contour which i've applied on my nose to contour my nose now let's move on to the eyebrows so for my eyebrows today i'm using a wet and wild eyebrow pencil first i'm going to be uh, combing my eyebrow hair and then uh, using the other side of the eyebrow pencil which is kind of pen stick which has a very pointed tip i'm going to be drawing an outline and then i'm going to be filling my eyebrows within that outline now to clean the edges and curves of my eyebrow i'm going to be taking a very small brush and then i'm going to be applying a concealer on that brush now make sure you're not taking too much amount of concealer very little bit concealer and i'm going to be cleaning out the edges and the curves of my eyebrow 
for the blush i am taking a cream blush from pixie beauty applying it on the high points of my cheeks and using a fluffy brush i'm gonna be blending it out nicely so it looks natural For the highlighter, I've taken an e.l.f. highlighter which is a very minimal highlighter and it gives you an exact natural glow which you need. And again applying it on the high points of my cheeks, little bit on my nose tip and nose bridge. I'm not doing much for my eye makeup, I'm just gonna be keeping it very simple and very minimal like as shown in the picture her eye makeup was very simple and very minimal. I've taken a peachish color from this eyeshadow palette and I'm applying it on my eyelid. This is the only color which I'm applying it on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna be taking a hue stick in the color black from Tinted and I'm gonna be using it as my cartel. I'm gonna be applying this color on my waterline on both sides of my eye. Using a pencil brush, I'm going to be smoking it out a little bit, like blending out the kajal so it gives a little smoky effect on my waterline and blends out the kajal evenly on both the sides. This is an optional step but I like to do it just to smoke out a little bit and give more depth to my kajal. If you want, you can also add a black eyeshadow and then, and then blend out your kajal. This will add more depth, balance and volume to your kajal. For the mascara today, I'm using a LOV mascara, applying it on my lower lashes. Now, most of you don't know that I have eyelash extensions, uh, which is a temporary one, but I got them done recently. So I'm not applying mascara uh, on the top lashes, but I'm going to be applying the mascara on my lower lashes. For the lipstick today, I'm using an Icon lipstick from Huda Beauty, which is again a very perfect shade for Indian skin tone or I should say brown skin tone. And then I'm using a clear gloss to apply a little bit above my lipstick. For setting my makeup, I'm using a matte finish setting spray from NYX Cosmetics. And there you go. Here ends my makeup and that's my final look, you guys. I I've just added some chumkas and a small piece of necklace and a little bindi. This completes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and find this tutorial really helpful. And please share it with your friends if you like it. And also comment down below. I would love to hear your feedbacks. I'm going to catch you guys super soon. But till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye, guys.